boop, boop. What's going on boys? I'm gonna make this one short and sweet because I got work to get done. So if you caught my last video, I took out the, I'll, I took out this steering rack from my E36 M3 and now I am installing this steering rack in my E36 M3. So if you caught my last video, I was contemplating kind of doing a refresh on the, the whole front suspension because basically every boot and ball joint and everything up front is torn. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on that. A lot of that stuff is easy enough to replace as I go and I really want to get this car back on the road because I'm kind of tired of just it chilling, not being driven. So I'm going to get the steering rack put back in. I'm going to do an oil change on it. I'm going to check the coolant, all that kind of stuff because I haven't since I've owned it. So I'm going to do that, get it ready to be driven, and then go and have some fun with it and really start to enjoy it. And also, my plan for this is to... If you haven't caught my other videos, my plan is to completely kind of revamp this suspension, braking, all that stuff. What I want to do is take it to the track in stock form, record a lap time, and then after every upgrade or modification that I do to it, I want to go back to the track, do another lap, and see what type of difference that makes. I think that'll be fun. I always, I've wanted to do that, and it's the perfect platform to do that. The E36 is a great platform, so. Yeah, enough talking. I'm going to install the steering rack. It is 221. Mm, 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 mm. It's 221, just believe me. So the issue now, besides getting choked by my sweatshirt, oh, don't wear a hooded, never mind. The issue now is getting the steering rack into the steering column. So that spindle that you saw on the steering rack itself, getting that actually into the steering column is a pain in the butt. This piece right here, hmm, Ooh. new piece, and this is the reason why we're on the next day. Actually, two days, because I had to wait for this piece to come in. So, here's the old one. And here are the threads for the old one. The splines on this old joint knuckle are absolutely toast. So I had to get a new one because the new steering rack wouldn't go into this, which attaches to the steering column. I literally battled getting the steering rack, which goes into this piece from the steering column, probably for an two hours, three hours, before I finally took this off and realized that the splines were jacked on the old one, so I had to order this. So it's the next day. I'm going to get back to trying to put that ZHP rack in. Honestly, now that I have this new piece, I don't think it's going to be too difficult. I'm going to attach this to the steering rack and then slide it back into the column. That was the biggest pain in the butt that night, or two seconds ago, whenever you were just watching it. But it was a huge pain in the butt. So now that I have this, let's finish this thing up, all right? messed up a little bit. I got the new power steering rack in. It's a million times easier. <laughs> you live and you learn, right? So I lowered the sway bar in order to get access to all the power steering fittings and stuff. And I forgot the tie rod ends go on the inside of the sway bar. So you can see the sway bar right here, the tie rod ends, and then this has to mount up to the chassis. So I'm going to take the tie rod ends off, but the important piece 
Important thing with tie rod ends is setting them up in roughly the same area as the old tie rod ends. So I'm gonna mark it off with a little string just to mark it off where it was right now because I kind of had it pre-measured a little bit. So I'm just gonna mark it with a little string, back the nut off, undo the tie rod ends, put the sway bar up to the chassis, connect it, blah, 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 and um, put the tie rod ends back on. So I hope that made sense. All right, finally, finally done. Now time to fill the system with fluid, crank the wheel from side to side. I'm enlisting the help of my beautiful fiance for this, and uh, as you crank the wheel, fluid will go down, obviously, so you're gonna be pouring more fluid in there and just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, so. Right, now I just gotta go back through and tighten everything up. I left uh, like the tie rod ends, I gotta torque those down. Clamp that goes around the steering column, I gotta tighten that up. Um, it was at a weird angle when I installed it so I couldn't get a, an open end wrench on to tighten it up, so I gotta do that. Uh, and just button everything up, double check everything, then I'm gonna change the oil too and she'll be good to go. So that was about a two day process just because, just because of this guy. Yep, the factory or the stock version of this guy was just not workable. I couldn't, these splines right there were just jacked. So after waiting to get the new one, getting that installed onto the rack, everything went on smooth. Um, changed the oil, so that's good. Buttoned up the tie rod ends, the sway bar, put all the power steering back, th hoses back attached. Filled the reservoir with power steering fluid. Uh, went, had my fiance had Quinn go opposite lock to opposite lock to kind of cycle the fluid through the system. I didn't know this. Uh, Brett over at M Sport Parts let me know this. It's a self bleeding system. Uh, the cap is ventilated, uh, so all air will naturally work itself out. Uh, you just have to make sure to, once it, once you go opposite lock and the, and the uh, level drops, just make sure to fill it back up. Um, but it's a self-bleeding system, which I didn't know. So I'm not going to have a review for you on the steering yet, but just actually turning the wheel without any tires on it, not driving, it feels insanely better. Again, this is the E46 ZHP rack that I put in here. It feels literally 100 times better. I mean, it, it doesn't even feel like the same car. So anyway guys, this is a long video, I apologize. Uh, smash that subscribe button, we're almost to 500 subscribers. I appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll see you guys next video.